Alright, so um, it's me, Icon, and last week I taught you guys how to add some shadows to your 3D layer. And today I'm going to be finishing the AVI and walk you guys through my process of doing an AVI. So um, yeah, let's get straight into it. Um, so I already got my my theme of this. First, I'm going to duplicate this logo a bit so that. I can move it to the back all right so um I will usually just make it a bit darker no actually um, I need to go into curves a bit um I think yeah I usually make an M like this uh yeah all right so we have that go out of this well um, now i'm gonna turn down the opacity to like maybe 25 i guess so for the logo um, i want to duplicate it i'm gonna add some shadows to it so the blur is going to be 40 distance before like the default on duplicate ones and merge it down we have this like shadow under it my duplicate him ones I'm gonna add some shadows as well I think this is fine 50 yeah why not so um you need to duplicate your PNG once more and then the under layer is going to be set as linear dodge add. The glow, the glow is going to be the same color as the theme, which is orange for me, which gives this like a bright glow and make another layer. So now for the inner glow, I want to select pixels on this dude. Empty layer, inverse, stroke, inverse again, glow. I'm going to put it around 30. Because why not extract it? And now, line and dodge app, which we have this. Um, I'm gonna duplicate it once. Well, gorge and blow it. So 40. I'm gonna duplicate this. So I'm gonna merge it all of this down. And then we have this, which is pretty. You know, pretty finished, I guess, like almost finished. But um, I want to add some of my lightings. So yeah, you can you can find this on Google and stuff. Pretty easy. So I want to make it come from the bottom. The color balance. Well, actually, I need to turn it into black and white first. Color balance is going to match with the person's color, as always. This is fine. Um, I'm lining dodge at that. Saturation it up a bit. Duplicate it. And we have this, which is looks pretty nice, in my opinion. Um, you want to get your brush. And the color, I already set to my my orange tint. If you want, you can use the um, the eyedropper to get the tint as well, which I guess it's fine. Um, I'm gonna tap on it once, tap on the screen once, and then you want to blow it all the way up like that. I want to give it a little bit of saturation, cause why not? And now I wanna make it linear dodge add. I'm make it as huge as possible so that I can add it to this. Wait, that's too much. Wait, hold on. Um so you can see a small light coming up from his on the bottom. Alright. Um, so we are pretty much done at this point. I want to add some of my half tone, half tone pattern. Size is going to all the way down. 
color 2 is black, color 1 opacity 0, set it to overlay, duplicate it, and we have this, um, which is pretty simple I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna make another video on how to add some text to this. Also comment down below for more suggestions for my next tutorials. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like if you enjoyed it, but dislike if you didn't. And uh, yeah, peace.